What's up, KFC crew and KFC Kings? It's your boy, B Boy Fashion on TV. And tonight, I'll give you guys my AEW Dynamite review on Holly. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and notify when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Let's go over AEW Dynamite review on highlights. Now, AEW Dynamite was a good show, and that's all I gotta say. A all Elite Wrestling will deliver an action-packed show with June, with the June 8th episode of AEW Dynamite. John Moxley will face the winner of a Casino Battle Royale, and the victory of this match will advance to the match of the interim AEW World Championship at Forbidden Door. Plus, Hangman Page will, will return to the ring. Donna Rosa will defend the AEW Women's World Champion, and Pac will face Buddy Matthews. Alright, so we get to Casino... Battle Royale, winner faces John Mosley in the main event. Um, this was pretty fun. This was pretty fun for what it was. Um, the match begins with Darby Allen, Daniel Garcia, Eddie Kingston, Tony Nese, and Lance Archer. Ricky starts Ray Phoenix, Swerve Strickland, Jake Hager, and Keith Lee enters the match next. Next to contest of John Silver, Kanusuke Takishita, Ta Mass Caster, Austin Gunn, and Colton Gunn. Next up, Powerhouse Hobbs, Kyle Riley, Bobby Fish, Dante Martin, and Willow Yuta enter the match. Andrade, El Andrade enters, enters as the Joker. The match comes down, comes down, down Andrade, Ray Phoenix, Hobbs, Ricky Starks, and Kyle Riley. And the end of the match comes down to Kyle Riley and Yuta, and the Red Dragon stars emerge victorious. Order of the Elimination. Tony Nese. Eliminated by Keith Lee. Lance Archer eliminated by Keith Lee. Uh, Matt Caster eliminates Ray Phoenix. Austin Gunn eliminates Keith Lee. Gunn, Colton Gunn eliminates Keith Lee. Keith Lee eliminates uh, Swerve Strickland. John Silver eliminates Power, Powerhouse House. Eddie Keith eliminates Jake Hager. Jake Hager eliminates Willer Yuta. Kanusuke Ta Kushida eliminates Ricky Stars and Powerhouse House. Dante Martin eliminates Ricky Stars. Ricky Stars eliminates Ray Phoenix. Bobby Fish eliminates Darby Allen. Darby Allen eliminates um, Swerve Strickland. Swerve Strickland eliminates Andrade. Powerhouse Hobbs eliminates Willow Yuta. Ray Phoenix eliminates Andrade. Andrade eliminates Willow Yuta. And Willow Yuta eliminates Kyle. And um, Kyle Riley eliminates uh, Willow Yuta. All right, the winner of the match, Kyle Riley. This was a pretty, this was pretty fun casino battle royal match. This was fun. All right, in a promo, John Mossy previews the main event and says Kyle Riley will be in the ring with the wrong guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. He says the forbidden door b belongs to him, and the three years journey will communicate at forbidden door. The broadcast team announced that AEW World Champion CM Punk underwent successful su successful surgery and the doctors were encouraged by the results. A video package announced that announced the arrival of the the All Atlantic Championship match. I'm sorry, a championship watch represents the fans watching around the world. The broadcast team shows the belt and announced that there will be a tournament for the title and it will be concluded with a fate with a four way match at Forbidden Door. Alright, so we get a AEW All Atlantic Championship tournament first round match. Pac versus Buddy Buddy Matthews Buddy Matthews. This was a quick this was a quick match. Pac and Matthew take the fight to each other right away and they even evenly match early on. The bastard spikes Buddy Matthews on his head with a DDT. The two foes trade blows. Matthews stomps on Pac's foot, but he eats some kicks. They keep exchanging strikes. Pac, um, Pac blasts his opponent with a super kick, but Matthews fires back with a knee strike. Both men are down after the after a lariat. Buddy, Buddy Matthews. Buddy Matthews gets a two count with a with a Lego bomb. Pac plants him with a poison runner. Another kick floors. Buddy Buddy uh, Buddy Matthews and Pac hits the Black Arrow for the win. The winner of the match, Pac. All right. 
the Lucha the Lucha Brothers celebrates with Pack after the match. The the House of Black comes out to check on Buddy Buddy um, Matthews. And in a promo, Eddie Kingston is fired up and says Jake Hager cost him the battle royale. He says he hates the Jericho Appreciation Society and promised to get Jericho. Um, Eddie Kingston challenged Jake Hager to a match on AEW Rampage. All right, let's move on. Um, so we get um. Okay, so we get Trent Barretta comes to the ring and says he's bombed. He's bombed out. It's National Best Friends Day, and his and his friends aren't there. He says he's he's in, he and Rocky Romero had a match for the ROH Tag Team Championship, and while they didn't win, they didn't lose either. So they deserve another shot. He tells FTR to come to the ring, and they do. Cash Wheeler says. He agrees that they didn't win or lose. He makes it clear that they want to prove that that they the best team in the world. Dax Harwell says that Beretta shouldn't be mad at them. He should be mad at the guy the guys who attack him attack them attack them all. Well Osprey uh, Osprey Osprey comes to the stage and Oz, and Ozzy opens attack FCR and Beretta, the faction numbers beat them down. And and Osprey stands tall along with his stable stable mates. Alright. So we get backstage. Will yeah, backstage William Regal standing by with Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. He says he's he's taught them a lot, but he says John Moxley will crack Kyle O'Reilly's head open tonight. Alright. So we get Hangman Page versus David Finley. All right, this was this was a quick this this match went quick. All right, Adam Cole, Adam Cole joins commentator for the bout. Page and uh, David Finley fill each other out, and the former world champion gains the upper hand. He controls the bout and takes the opportunity to drink a beer at ringside. David Finley rallies with a chop block, and the momentum swings in his favor. He targets Hangman's leg for a few minutes. Page fires up and slams David fin- David Finley, and and he hits a springboard clothesline and dives into fin- David Finley outside the ring. The former champion power bombs David Finley, but the later, but the latter, but the latter catches Hangman with a backbreaker. David Finley gets a two count with the inside cradle, but Page blasts him with the one Larry and pants him for the for the buckshot Larry for the win. The winner the winner of the match, Hangman Page. Um this was I'm gonna say this match was decent. Decent match. The winner of the match Hangman Page. Alright, let's move on. And uh, in a post in a post match promo Hangman says there's a lot he wants to say about the AEW World Championship, but tonight, not the not tonight. He points out that he wasn't in the in a in the casino battle royal, but he, he knows there's not there's not only one world championship. Page says that he wants the IWGP World Ch- Heavyweight Championship, and he wants o- o- Okada at the Forbidden Door. Um, um, Cole comes to the stage and says, Okada might not even be the champion because Jay White could, could be him. He says, Paige lost the title. Where's the personal one, the Owen Hart Foundation tournament? Cole says he should get the title shot because he, he's a, he's a new franchise player. He suggests that Paige stay out of his way and drops the microphone with a boom. Okay, in a pre-tape, Maria Shafir steps up to Donna Rosa when the AEW Women's World Champion issued an open challenge. So we get the in-ring segment, Rollo and Tony Shavon. All right, Rollo says he, did, he didn't compete in the battle royal because he didn't want a title shot until he can, until he can face the rightful champion. CM Punk 
He tells CM Punk to heal up because he he'll be waiting when he gets back. But now Rollo says there's there's one title he wants and it's a championship he had won and and match before MJF cost him it. Um, he says it's time for a change before the champion Scorpio Scorpio Sky comes to the comes to the stage. Dan Lemmer and Ethan Page stop Sky from getting to the ring. Um, Warlow says he'll wait until the injured Sky is one hundred and ten percent ready to go. Mark Smart Mark Sterling appears on the video screen and reminds Warlo that he can't rip up legal documents. He says Warlo has two options. He can face him in face him in a courtroom or he can face Tony of the security officials. He'll be up in an elimination match next week. In a promo, the Young Bucks the Young Bucks brag about how they beat the Lucha Brothers last week. They say they want to want the tag titles back. The Hardy bro, the, the Hardys the Hardy brothers interrupt and point out they they beat the Young Bucks at AEW double or nothing. Christian Cage and Jurassic Express join the party. Cage says they have to earn a title shot, but he'll throw down with throw down a challenge. Jurassic Express will defend the titles versus the Hardys and the Young Bucks in a in a ladder match next week. Alright, let's move on. So we get the AEW Women's World Champion, Donna Rosa versus Maria Shafir. Um, this was this was a quick match. Rosa and Shafir fill each other out and struggle to gain the upper hand. The champion catches Maria Shafir with a straight to the face. Maria Shafir suplexes Donna Rosa and grounds her. She she's in frame. Freedom control of the action, and she continues to keep Thunder Rosa grounded. The champion rallies and rocks Maria Shapiro with a kick. She stuns Maria Shapiro with a with a fury of offense. Uh, Maria Shapiro dumps Thunder Rosa on her head with a modified pump handle slam. Thunder Rosa rolls through another slam and gets the pin. The winner is still your AEW Women's World Champion, Thunder Rosa. That match was quick by itself. Maria Shapiro attacked Thunder Rosa after the match, but Tony Storm makes the save. Tony Storm grabs the title, the title look, and looks. Okay. Jay Corgill and the baddies are backstage to hype up Red Velvet's match with Chris Statlin on an AEW Rampage. So, so it's so next match says the winner advanced to the interim interim AEW World Championship. Match at Forbidden Door. John Moxley versus Kyle O'Reilly. This was this main event was good. This was a good main event. John Moxley and Kyle O'Reilly filled each other out. They are eventually even even they are evenly matched early on. The former AEW World Champion gains the upper hand and they trade holes. John Moxley stones Kyle O'Reilly, but the latter gains control with a dragon screw in a diving knee drop while John Moxley is hung up in the in the ropes. The match builds to the outside and John Moxley unloads on Kyle O'Reilly with some punches. Kyle O'Reilly blasts him with a um, shotgun drop kick. Back in the ring, the Red Dragon star ma- maintains the advantage. He keeps attacking John Moxley's leg as he slams it into the apron. The Pro Board of Violence catches Kyle Riley on the ropes and sends him crashing to the mat with a modified suplex. The two men trade blows, and John Mossy headbutts Kyle Riley. Both men take take each other down with big boots. Kyle Riley es- escapes a chicken wing by biting the ropes, and John Mossy blasts him with a lariat. Some stiff strikes rock um, John Moxley. But he drills Kyle Riley with a few nasty elbows. Kyle Riley nails John Moxley with a kick. Kyle Riley counters and po- counters a power driver into a triangle choke and goes for a heel hook. John Moxley escapes and plants Kyle Riley with a power driver. The two men keep trading strikes, and John Moxley blasts Kyle Riley with a re- re- regal knee. The paragon shift puts John Moxley down for the. Puts Kyle Riley down for the three count. The winner of the match, John 
Moxley. And um in AEW Dynamite goes off the air. Like I said earlier, um AEW Dynamite was a good show. And that's all I gotta say from here. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and that way you'll notify every time I go live on YouTube or I premiere a brand new video. Um, follow, um, follow my socials, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. You guys have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. And I will premiere this video at one at it's either one o'clock or two o'clock. I don't, but I'm gonna premiere this video at one o'clock. And that's all I gotta say from here. But this your boy B Boy Facts on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. And I will be going live tomorrow on YouTube just to let you guys know that anyway. But anyway, this your boy B Boy Facts on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. And that's all I gotta say from here. KFG Crew, KFG Kings, Too Sweet. And um, we out of here. Gang. I'll see you guys in my premiere shoot for my AEW Dynamite review on highs. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here. KFG Crew, KFG Kings, Too Sweet. We out of here. Gang.